everybody, Ryan Whedon here with another edition of Video Magic. Maybe we'll call it that, I don't know. But I'm here to show you an incredible technique. We've got Tamri here, also known on Instagram as at Archer Dean Photography. She does incredible photography. If you're in the San Diego area or if you want something fantastic anywhere else in the world, you can fly her out. If you've seen our family photos, she is responsible for that for like, what, two, three years now? It's, it's amazing. Check her out, her work is insane. Today, she is the model, and I am very excited to show you some dimensional work here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it right now, working title is Teardrop Dimension. What she wants is to at, bring some of her natural down, darken this a little bit. We're in winter time here, so maybe it has to do with that, maybe not, I don't know. She just is, right now she's inspired by darker shadows throughout with some, some ends that are, are, are not really much brighter than this. We're gonna actually try and keep the ends at this kind of like level eight range right now. We're gonna um, overall glaze and shadow her hairline here, but mostly as far as I think we're going right now, and of course things can change along the way, we're gonna be doing a series of, and by we I mean me, I'm gonna be doing it. <laughs> I don't always always say we, like, this is a team effort, right? It is a team effort, she just needs to stay still. <laughs> I'm gonna be going through in, in a teardrop halo type sectioning pattern and be adding dimension all the way through it. So I'm excited to show you this. I'm gonna section her up and we'll get started. See you in a minute. I've got Tamri all sectioned and let me give you a quick tour before we get started. I've taken this into a teardrop section here at the top. Uh, let's go ahead and tilt your head down just a little bit, like that. I don't know if you can quite see it, but zigzagged around here all the way to just below the high point of the head and zigzagged here. So it's got a little bit of a teardrop shape with a point here, but zigzags around here. I love doing zigzags. If you've seen my stuff, you know zigzags is kind of where it's at if you want to have that extra blend insurance, and it's just kind of fun. Now, let me show you the rest of it. I've also taken another teardrop section from this point, and now this is unraveling, but it doesn't matter. Let's see, I'll, I'll hang on. Hold, please. Okay, so let's see. In the back here, you can see I took a lower zigzag uh, 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 teardrop section to right here. I, I could have done it all in one and wrapped it up, but I wanted to split it down here because it would just be harder to show you the sectioning, and I just love the simplicity of this. Then just below this, about halfway through about at the ear, just below the ear here, or behind the ear, I took a, another little bit of a teardrop section. Well, I guess not really a teardrop. I guess if you look at it all over, just trust, just, it's just whatever. Just look at the sectioning and copy and repeat. So what I did here is same thing, zigzag under here. And I left out the entire hairline. I'm going to start with the whole hairline first, but there's maybe two, inches of hairline all the way around. It's consistently weighted. And that's the most important thing. We don't want to have a real heavy section back here and light section up around the hairline because I'm gonna be working around here and I wanna make sure that the dimension that I add is consistent all around. So now I'm gonna clip this out of the way and get started on this side. And I'm gonna mix up my product. I'll see you in a minute. Starting on Tamri's right side here, I'm gonna use these zigzag areas here. These are wider zigzags, it's fine. These are gonna be chunkier pieces anyway. So in front of the ear, I'm gonna be keeping this very natural and behind the ear, I'm gonna be blending a level six into a level seven. So here, level six and into, a, uh, into just the natural here. So I'll show you how I do that. I'm gonna take a diamond section. See, this is a little bit of a triangle at the top. I'm gonna kind of match that so it's a thicker section here and take as many as I can comfortably. Let's just do one more here. Leave all this natural because we do like that, this brightness here. And we're gonna take this section. I'm gonna pop my foil under here. I'm gonna take my level six. This is a, a mix between well, a six stroke zero and six stroke three. Blend it down a little bit like this. I'm 
a little bit more towards the back. Fun, long strokes. Okay, now we release that and you see that's a foil hack that I have. Thanks to, uh, I learned that from Color by Chris. He's one of our educators, very talented. And then protect that with a foil over top. Keep this simple, I'm just gonna fold in the corners. And that shouldn't go anywhere. If it does, we'll cut it from the video. Okay, <laughs> moving back behind here. I'm gonna take these diamond sections here, match these triangles. I don't wanna take a section much wider than the foil. If I was using maybe a wider foil, well, I usually wouldn't anyway, because it just I, I wouldn't have control. But here you can see there's some brightness coming through here, some existing highlights, and that's what we're really trying to blend out. So here. Pop that under. Since we're behind the ear, I'm gonna blend these ends into a level seven. Now because the foils aren't quite that long, gonna pull that down. You can see I just added a foil directly below it. They should blend seamlessly together. Oh, stay. Okay, that worked out well. Cut, just kidding. So if that happens, you just Maybe add a little bit more. Now we'll take some foil and I'll put the first one at the bottom here so it can adhere to that. And the second one at the top. Pull the corners in. Just go ahead and push that together and hopefully it doesn't move. If it does again, we'll, we'll deal with it then. But I think we'll be fine. Okay, moving around here, we're at the center back now. And these are just some big chunky sections. And I'm just gonna take this whole section here. Clean this up so it's more Diamondy, like so. We'll do the same thing. The section isn't too thick to where I can't push the product all the way through, but it's just thick enough that we're gonna add a, a bunch of dimension. It's gonna be really pretty. I'm gonna drag this down a little bit further because we want more depth back here. And it's not too dark, it's a level six. Using the side of the brush to pull it down to give it more blendiness. It's a real word, blendiness, look it up. Don't look it up. Here we go. Same thing here, just to really grab those ends, smother them with the level seven, and I think we used a seven zero three, stroke zero three, and a seven, maybe they think that was it. The formula will be on the screen or in the notes, whatever, we mixed it up earlier. Can't remember everything, come on, give me a break. So same thing here, put that first foil on, take that second foil, put it on the top, and lock it into place. I'm gonna do the same thing as I work around here. So behind the ear, one more section of the blend, the six into the seven, and then the front here, same as we did on the other side, 
It's gonna be, just leave the ends natural, six down to match the mirror the opposite side. I'll catch you when we get to this section here. Just finished the application, so now I just wanna give you, show you where we're at. One foil in the front, one in the back here on, on the right side, one in the center back, one on the left back here, and then another one in the front here. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're moving into that next row just right above the nape section, right above the nape hairline section. Here we are. I can do the same thing. I can go up like this, or I could actually split it into two. Whatever works for you to make your job easier, go ahead and do it. So what I'm gonna do to make it very simple and orderly is I'm gonna split this right down the middle and just like I did here, I'm gonna go up here and probably with two foils, up here with two foils. And I'm gonna do my best to mimic what I'm doing here by pulling it down. So let's pull that color down. So I'm gonna start right here. And this is all behind the ear. You can see these existing highlights in here and that's what we're gonna be blending down. Take a piece here, that's gonna be part of the foil. And I'm gonna split a zigzag right through the middle here. This whole section will do it in two foils. Put some weight on that, the clip, pop it over there. Have this whole section here. It's a little bit of a wider section, but I think I can handle it because it's, uh, it's manageable. Okay, I'm gonna take my foil, Put it under here. Start adding in that depth. Just gonna pull this six all the way through, but not completely saturated so that we leave some of these natural brighter pieces here to poke through. I'll take this section directly above it. And do the same thing, except this time I'm gonna blend in the level seven. It's good to alternate so that way you have that variation at the ends. Still gonna pull the six down about three quarters of the way before I apply the level seven. Remember, the goal is to add depth to this look. You wanna remove a lot of the brightness, but still maintain a lot of the dimension. Take my level seven, and overlap a little bit and pull it through. Then I'm gonna do the same exact thing on this side. All right, just finished up these back two sections here. So these are processing. Two here, two, one, one here, well, two here, you know, two, two, four, done. Now we're moving on to the side section here. Just working our way up the head. Now here we are, also kind of a wide section here. So I'm gonna take it, I don't need to split it up necessarily, but I'm gonna take it in zigzag sections all the way through the section first. So I'm gonna do the section and then I'll get to this section, but we'll start with this. Now we are, part of this is in front of the, the ear where we wanna keep it extra bright. And part of it is behind where it's okay to have more variation. So I'm taking a zigzag section here through the side. Can you see that right there? Really nice zigzag, I'm stoked on that. Okay. So now this is a wide section here, so I'm definitely going to split this up into two foils. So 
So this first one here, one thing to note is that you'll see that I'm not skipping any sections because I'm adding depth throughout. If I were to skip a section and move up here, then it's more like I'm adding, I'm adding depth, but more like I'm adding low lights where I really want to create a lot of depth and bold depth throughout while still maintaining that dimension. So you don't want to skip any sections, especially if there are highlights strewn throughout. So here's the section here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this under. Drop down my six. Now you might not see that when you're looking at this that there's not a lot of lightness up here. So why would I paint this? Well, the reason is because if I left it natural and I painted some by the root and some not by the root, you're still infusing it with color. And even though it might not be necessarily canceling out those highlights, you're still, if I'm adding say gold into it, we wanna make sure that it is representative and congruent throughout. Drag this down a little bit. I wanna keep this a little bit natural here. Wispy strokes. Fold that corner, it really shouldn't go anywhere. To the back of this section here, where I have it sectioned out. My stomach is growling. I don't know, that might actually be able to be picked up on video. I don't know if you could hear that. It's just like, like a rawr. So here, if you remember on the last section at the top, in the section below it, we left it natural. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna blend it into that level seven. So I'll drag this down. We want that depth up top. We want about three quarters depth. Drop that foil down here. Smother these ends with that level seven. It's okay to cross over and blend it a little bit. It's not gonna really change the consistency of the seven in the bowl, I'm not worried about it. Okay. I'm gonna drop down the section directly above it. See what we got left here. Still got quite a bit left of this section. But overall, this technique is gonna go very quickly because like once we're done, the processing time is 20 minutes tops. And that's the beauty of it. We don't have to do any lightning. We didn't mix any of that lightning in there, so, so that's great. Pull this down. Take another section here. So this total section is gonna take three rows split up into twos. This last one will try to just be one foil. But I'd rather take smaller rows, smaller sections, so that way we have more depth and dimension throughout.
Same thing here in the front. I'm gonna leave those ends out. I'm gonna pull this down, make sure this is really saturated all the way through. Keep it a little bit lighter by the front here. And you can see I don't have a lot of product on my brush and that's important because if there's a lot of product here then there might be some spots and some drips. But now it's almost like I'm dry brushing the bottom here with a little bit of product and that's gonna give us that wispy blend. Not going anywhere. Okay, so section here. I'm gonna do a natural section here at the bottom. If you need to clean it up a little bit, take a comb or something like that. You can see there are a lot of highlights here. So this, just by blending these down a little bit, it's gonna add a lot more dimension. I would say one mistake that a lot of stylists make when they're adding dimension is they don't add enough dimension. They think they're adding a lot, but they're not really adding as much as they hope for when they're trying to create massive amounts of dimension. So they might stop here and think like, oh, that's enough. I don't want to add too much. But the more dimension you add, the more brightness you'll see for those points of brightness that you have. Pull this down like this, about three quarters of the way. About to three quarters of the way is about right there. And then from there, I'm gonna keep it natural at the ends, but I'm gonna dry brush through it. I'm not really pushing through, I'm pulling off as I feather it down. Can I get some more foils, please? Can I get some more foils? More foils! I need more foils! Can't work under these conditions. So I did that there. Now we are... No, no it's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry. It's a high stress work environment here. We need things. We need it now. I have no food. Products and foils. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, here we are. This is like my first video when I was like, the first video, I'm like, and then you faint here, you're trying to look all confident. You're not looking away from the camera? Okay. That, that'll be a, a time for a, a, a topic for another day. Of course, we did talk about it, so I guess that's a topic for today too. So now we're on this last section here. It's kind of a wider section. If I want to split it up into two, I can. What do you think? Nah, I'm gonna do it all in one. I ain't got time for that. I gotta get a haircut soon. But literally, I do actually have to get a haircut. So I might come back with a finish with a completely new haircut. Try to put everything into my day as I can. We got this. Okay, so I got this here. Hey, no laughing. <laughs> Tamri, no laughing. I'm gonna stop doing your hair if you don't stop laughing. She's probably one of those that like looks at you when you're washing your hair too. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> gonna pull this through. A little bit darker toward the back here because we are connecting a little bit of the front with a little bit of the back here. So I left the bottom natural, the, the section just below, a little bit natural. It's your choice, you wanna keep this natural too, but since we are alternating a bit, I'm gonna pull some of this level seven down. But in a wisp. I'm not drunk, I swear. Okay, now we've got this section here on the top, on the side, that's not the, it's the, the side top, side top, right here. 
It's the same section as that one, so I'm gonna do that one, and you're not gonna see it, because you know you already saw it on that side, I'm gonna repeat it, and then we're gonna get to the top, and I'll catch you on the top. We're almost there. Now we've completed almost the entire head. Now we're at the top section here, this initial teardrop section, and super stoked about this. This is all we have left, but you can see this brightness here, and that's what we want to really, really mute down. And we're gonna bring this all the way, I mean, should we just do this whole thing? With six, and maybe the tip it out with seven, yes. That's what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it right down the middle here. Zig, 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 zag. Zigzag's not really that important here. It's just, you know, I'm just zigging and zagging this whole way through, so that's that's where I'm at. But we still wanna make sure that it is blended. And you can see here, the, the roots are from here to here, and then we get into this brightness here. And this is what we wanna really, almost like eliminate. We wanna really drag that depth all the way down and maybe just keep a little bit of the brightness in, in a couple areas. So yeah, I am kinda glad I did the zigzag here. I'm gonna take two sections here, Split it with another zigzag here and do the same thing on the opposite side and then we're done. We process for 20 minutes, boom, and we should be done. Take a zigzag through there. Can you see that? Right there, see that? Excellent. Just to keep this separate from the other side section, just put a loose clip on it right there. And I have this right here. Clean up that section. I love dimensional looks because they're fast and they're super impactful. I would say 99.9999% of the time too, I always use a demi permanent color. That way it not only blends nicely, but it fades absolutely perfectly. No harsh lines ever. Because we are on the top here, I'm just gonna leave these ends natural. But I'm gonna bring it down almost 90% of the way. About 80% of the way, I'm really saturating it, and that extra 10%, I'm just feathering it down. Quick strokes like this using the side of the brush. all about sound effects. That didn't work, there's like a stack of foils under there. And I'm gonna grab this. It's my last section on this side. A bit of a robust section, but because the lightness doesn't start till about here, I'm still okay putting a foil under here and working with this whole section. If you wanna get that blend up top here, just move the board or the foil up a little higher. You can blend it up this way just to make sure we have that gentle transition in case for some reason you pick the wrong base color that didn't match the hair here. Take your time really getting most of that product off of your brush before you get to those ends. That way you have more of a, that dry brush effect. And once you're down here, Wisp it on down. I'm almost just surface painting it. Pushing through, but I'm using just the, the vertical side of the brush that way, holding it vertically as I feather it down.
Okay, I'm gonna finish up this last side section here with two foils, just like we did here, and then we're processing. See you after we shampoo. I'm gonna put a global toner over all this. I'm not exactly sure what I'm using yet. Probably more, I think we're gonna use like a Redken Shades in the GI series to, to really tone this down here and, and tone those, down those ends a little bit, maybe to like a nine GI or something. Not sure yet, we'll take a look at it after it's all processed, but we'll see you for the finished look. And we're back. You know those moments when you do a hair color and you, you know, you're not only, I, I wasn't really doing a lot of color god praying, but you just like, you're not really sure how it's gonna come out. You, you have an idea because you've been doing it for a while, but you know, I, I, I'm, I still got it. It's just fun to actually, you know, create an awesome look and be proud of it. And that's, I'm, I'm proud of this look and, and uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Look at this stunning dimension, just the way she wanted it. Very similar to the picture. I actually maybe we'll post the picture on here to, to show you. Uh, it's more work for our, our videographer to post that picture on there to show like what the inspiration photo was, but I think that's kind of cool so you can see it as well. And um, I got a haircut in like five minutes, so I gotta run. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Download the head sheet if there is one. If there's not, I don't know where this is gonna be. It might be on YouTube, Balayage Online. It could be anywhere. It's gonna be everywhere, but I hope you guys try it. Make sure you tag me at ryan.weedon so I can see the magic that you create behind the chair and follow this one, okay? See you guys soon. Thank you.